Hello friends, I hope you're ready for another van build video and the internet is full of it. So I got me a van to make a camper out of it and like I've seen in all these other videos that everybody posts, I first you start with insulation. So I insulated the walls and the ceiling with poly iso, uh, poly extruded something something and I glued it any way I could with 3M glue or with the, the, this uh, gooey stuff that is for windows and doors and it wouldn't stay up on the ceiling so I put these metal slates that usually go on the floor in between carpet and floors and to keep it there on the walls and also to uh, screw the furniture later on on I put these wooden slats these are one by fours and I screwed them on the uh, on the sides you know wherever there was these ribs and then and then I put uh, this uh, headliner fabric which is a very very light fabric on the ceiling uh, glued over everything with 3M glue and on the walls I put this uh, fabric gray fabric that's uh, it's kind of stretchy and it stretches over uh, all the curves and stuff so yeah that worked pretty well you know if you pull it and push it and um, kind of stretch it all over everything it worked pretty well Now the floor had plywood underneath the a plastic uh, floor that was there which I took off but there were pieces missing like here at the back and on the side one piece so I cut plywood the same uh, the same thickness about half inch I think it was and I put it down and on top of it I put this vinyl plastic uh, woody looking floor which I also glued. Everything is glued together. Then I tucked it in around, you know, the edges. So I um, put some uh, good stuff all around, you know, to fill gaps and a little holes and then I made the bed which I made square and I shouldn't because the van is not square so it has gaps left and right as you see and I put these two lids on with the door hinges so I can open and reach to whatever I will put under the bed I, um, I stained it afterwards and I put a couple of coats of polyurethane on it so the um, it was not affected by humidity and like you see I put um, in reinforcement you know and L brackets and straight brackets and whatever I could you know on the legs and um, just to hold it together and also I put these two pieces of wood on the sides so they hold the mattress in doesn't come forward every time I hit the brakes and I put the mattress on to make sure it fits I had to cut a couple of inches the bed was made uh, to fit under the bed um, that was the whole idea on this base and then it was time for the kitchen cabinets which are a pair of uh, bathroom cabinets somebody gave me and I butchered them to be the same size and I took them you know the doors and the drawers out and I dry fitted them there to see how it goes so yeah it fit pretty well so with a plywood on top for um, for a countertop 
and I put a hole for the sink on the countertop so then I took it out to paint it so that's how I painted the countertop with the uh, dark and blue and green colors and then I polyurethaned it a lot and the bottom of the cabinets um, a whitish blue and I also cut a piece that will go behind the driver's seat to keep things from coming at me when I hit the brakes that was also stained and polyurethane and it's very well attached to both the, the top, the bottom and the side of the van on the front side of it uh, I put this uh, automotive fabric and these are the cabinets which I painted with uh, you know, a seascape and a treescape on the other side and um, then I put them all together here is the plumbing part uh, the water comes in from the bottle to the pump and drops down to the sink you know and to the bucket that's underneath And this is how the whole thing looks when it's put together with the doors in place and the drawers and the countertop and the sink and the whole nine yards. The seat stays there with, uh, with a bungee cord that attaches from side to side. Then I had to put this uh, uh, trim on top which is baseboards but at the back I had nowhere to attach it so I cut these pieces of wood bolted them to the frame and then I attached the trim on these pieces of wood so I can hang the curtain underneath this is on the side uh, is where I'm going to put the kitchen between the, uh, behind the passenger seat and it's also very well bolted to the floor to itself to the ceiling and to the other pieces and on the front side I will put the stove over here and on the other side I will put the electric panel which uh, has um, which has a, a controller inverter and a fuse box this is the stove at the front and at the back is the, the electric panel then I made the curtains out of a um, bedspread and that's the bedspread and the curtains I had to attach uh, key rings on it because I couldn't pull them all the way to the side so now they come all the way to the side and these are the curtains for the side window and between the, the cabin and, and the uh, driver's side one side is uh, the, the blue striped fabric and the other side is blackout fabric and of course the standard uh, uh, window covers, black one side, reflective on the other side. And of course I have the color lights everybody has, that's like the standard thing. Um, two sets of wires for the solar panel to come down this is the refrigerator I had to cut a little piece here because I couldn't fit the plug in 
and that's uh, in full traveling mode like you see uh, with all the garbage packets the fridge under there the stove the whole nine yards the fan going and that's all you need then all you have to do is take a nice trip well thank you very much for watching I appreciate your comments and your subscriptions thank you very much have a good day